Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can easily change a thumbnail uh, on a video in SharePoint. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So first of all, what is a thumbnail? A thumbnail is kind of the first image uh, you get to see on the video before you even play it uh, uh, within SharePoint. So as you can see, you know, I did not click the play button, but you know, on the video, but yet I have uh, this uh, image showing up. This is the thumbnail. And, um, you know, SharePoint pretty much generates a thumbnail um, kind of um, randomly, I guess, uh, based on the video. It just uh, grabs a certain frame and makes it a thumbnail. Well, uh, you can actually easily uh, adjust that if you wish. Uh, let me show you how to do that. So uh, for that, you need to navigate to the video itself. So I have a bunch of videos stored in this document library. Uh, right here, and let me click on this video right here. That's the one we're going to modify. So here is my uh, video. And uh, I want to change a thumbnail on this. So for that, you would need to click on video settings over here and thumbnail. And there are actually two options for you to uh, implement, um, you know, to, uh, I guess, install the new thumbnail. You can actually grab another frame from your video. So, for example, if I click this edit, uh, you know, the pencil icon, it uh, asks me to pretty much grab a new frame. So, you know what, let's just move the cursor over uh, just like that. Let's, for example, I like really like this frame. We're going to select it. So, if, you know, you want to grab uh, the thumbnail from a video, just a particular frame, we're pretty much done. So next time when you uh, maybe embed a video on the page, this is the image that users will get to see before they click the play button. Another option, another option for you would be to upload your own um, uh, thumbnail, your own image, uh, similar to what you know uh, I actually do on my YouTube channel, right? Every video that you watch on YouTube has uh, a nice and attractive uh, thumbnail. Um, so for that, you would need to obviously have a thumbnail image, uh, JPEG or PNG, um, you know, file and just click this uh, upload button and then just navigate to, um, you know, to your thumbnail. So I'm going to use this one right here. Click open and that's pretty much it. I mean, we just have to click done to kind of save it. And at this point we're done. So uh, let's go ahead and test it out. Now, if you already use this video and maybe embedded it somewhere on the page, uh, it might take a while uh, for the new uh, thumbnail to show up. So uh, just to save some time, uh, we are going to uh, add a brand new, embed a, a brand new uh, stream web part. And let's embed that video and we should see um, the uh you know the, this uh, new thumbnail that we just uh, did so i'm going to point uh my stream web part to uh, obviously uh this video right here that i have on this in this document library and look at this here it is all right there are that video and here's the thumbnail we uploaded so let me embed that so let me go ahead and publish it and yeah pretty much uh, that's what we get to see uh, even before the users uh, play the video, uh, they see this thumbnail that we have. And obviously when they click the play button, they actually see the, uh, you know, the, the actual video, but um, they do see the custom thumbnail image uh, before uh, before viewing uh, the video, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, so a nice little trick, if you want to uh, make it a little bit more attractive, I guess, to your users, maybe you have some training videos uh, that you want to display and maybe uh, populate some information, important information into the thumbnail. Uh, so definitely plenty of use cases for that. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for watching uh, this tutorial. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.